I just thought I'd pop in a short, quick video of me doing a bit of pressing up of this aluminium here. Um, so far, so far, we have close to 80 kilos. So what I do is I've made this piece myself and bought the rest. Uh, this goes with it, what I made. I'll show you how it all works. The springs go in the bottom when I take it apart. This will be coming apart because we are doing a scrap run soon. So it's got to come apart. I've got to put this through and get it all out. So what I usually do with the stuff that I can't uncrush, like that thing there, that thing there, because the barcode's ruined, um, we just put it in. Holus bolus, like this. Doesn't matter how it goes in. Just press it in. Thump it in, any old how. Get it in the hole. Right. If I lose any on the side, I'll come around and pick it up. Bottle top. Right. Then we grab our plate. Put it on top. Give it a bit of a squeeze so we can put more in it. Can always fit more. Holds a fair bit. Grab whatever. Put that in the yonder. Just keep poking it in. Poking it in, poking it in. It is a dirty, greasy job. It goes through as dirty aluminium. All of our bottle tops going down there too, so. Yep, pick you up shortly, all the time. Get into there, we might press that one down. Give that a go. It is a slow process. It's not too slow, of course. I've broke it a couple of times on the um, pins in there. So, had to do a bit of repair and whatnot. It does go pop, crunch and all that sort of thing. Lines itself up, that's good that way. It's a 12 ton jack. That's all they are, ordinary shop press. I can lower it or higher it, whichever way I want it. It's got all the holes down the side. I like that level. Take it all the way down to there. That's it there. Bring it back up. Put the other block in. Quite simple. I didn't think we'd have close to 80 kilos already pressed up. That's without this one. So that's pretty damn good, I reckon. We're gonna take it with us. Got the trailer all loaded, got the white ute all loaded. Big four wheel drive. So take everything we can. Take all of our aluminium, take all of our uh, scrap steel. Uh, this is just a preparation for getting it all done. It's all part of it. All right, start again. Undo, turn the block up the other way. Lengthways. Gives you that extra pressing motion. I only wish I had a porter powered one. Be nice. Be real nice. Nah. Pull a lever and it's done. But I did make this. Uh, it's served its purpose. Well, it has been serving a good purpose, really. When it gets a bit hard, I just extend the length, as you've just seen. It gets a bit hard sitting down. Get off me butt. Do a bit of work. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. It's good exercise. Ooh. 
we should be able to fit all that in the next one. Hopefully. I'm waiting for it to go bang one day. <laughs> That'll do. I can hear the oil starting to squeeze back past the the grub screw right here. All right, pull all that out. Now I did put a chain on the, um, probably noticed the chain that was on the square plate in here. That's so I can grab it out. Put my hand in there and just pull it out. At least I thought of something, right? Hey, put all of this in here, it should fit now. Fair old whack to put into there. I could go through probably, oh, I can fit in in a full press up. Um, like if you're talking the whole block, it adds up to about five or six kilos, sometimes up to seven. Can't tell you how much that is in aluminium, like how many oil trays or anything like that but um, yeah soon adds up when you start getting the big ones you don't need many can like that didn't go through the machine so we just put it in here we don't worry about a can crusher it's just about cleaned all that up Push it down, push it down. I did get a, when I first started scrapping out and that sort of thing, I did get a young fella. Well, he wasn't much younger than me. And um, yeah, I had a full washing machine tub full and empty, empty shell like this. It was full. They're able to fit into one of these. That gives you a good indication on how much you can actually fit. All right, we're just gonna press that down. Give it one press. Much easier to do it this way. Go the short bar. Go the short one. Oh, I've still got all these washing machines here to test out and dishwashers over here. I've tested some. I've got a whole heap of computers to look at and whatnot. See if they work. If they don't work, well, I'm just going to scrap them anyway. Hang on to the motherboards. Um, scrap the hard drives. Wipe them, because there may be stuff still on the hard drives. They're all over this way. All over there. Still got plenty to do. Never a dull moment. Still got to maintain our jobs here too, so... It's always rush, rush, rush. Just to get things done. Right, that's that one. Pull those out. It's been raining for the past 24 hours here, so I haven't had to put any sprinklers on or you know, anything like that. It's been wonderful. Turn them off. Let natural nature do its course. Nature, nature take its course, I should say. Just grab your handfuls, chuck it in. No matter what's there. Get rid of the leaf though. Leaf matter. Right, where'd those two go? Three actually. One there, one there, and one there. Alright, put the plate on top of that. And got a little bit to go. Give it a small press up, just to fit the rest in, then we'll press it right down. Give it a hard press. that 
one. I always work with speed. Try to be accurate at the same time. Two there, two there. So it doesn't take long to empty it out at all. Got to keep it all pressed up, otherwise we start getting a lot of mice. A lot of vermin. We don't like the vermin. All right, plate back in. Whoops. They get stuck on the glove. Like that there, that one there, that one there. The bottom is actually held on with uh, four bolts, so it's all aligned and everything like that. So I put a couple of pins in here, a pin there, and a pin there to. Like these ones here, I lift it up when there's no weight on it, and um, then I drop the bottom one down to take all of this apart. I won't be doing that straight away, I just thought I'd do all of this, show you how I do it, all the new viewers that haven't seen it. I have got a couple of videos of me doing this. Back in the playlist. Yeah, all right. Hold on. Too far. Stay there. That's going to go bang. It's going crooked. I don't want it going bang. Whoops. <sighs> Got awfully hard, that did. Oh, that's better. Extra length. I'm going to go longer now. Oh, that's better. There's a lot of sitting down jobs you can do. Look, this is one of them. It's still break out of sweat. Exercise in the arms, a lot of heavy breathing though, I tell you. <laughs> Up to there, turn him on his end, pull him out to do that. Oh, we've got to go a bit more. There we go, shove you in there. Time to get off the butt. Move the chair out of the road. We get flooded in here. As you can see, there's dry patch there and wet patch there and dry patch, wet patch. <laughs> dry patch where the tractor is. That'll do that. That's coming out. That'll be good. That's roughly mm, on the outside, just underneath there, about here. So, oh, probably about another 
10 totes that's my guess but anyway we'll let that up Whew. I broke out of sweat doing that all right and I'll show you what I've got already done up this out here does weigh up at 78 oh Jesus this is why I've got this 78 point something kilos here we go that's another reason why I put the chain on just in case it does get caught it's nice and flat down there put that there sit that back there but this is what I've got out here around the tractor um, yeah all of this that's magic that's how I do it I put a couple of cable ties zip ties whatever you like to call them plastic ties what would we do without them uh, I did try to put some strapping or some the blue strapping around it just didn't pull it tight enough so I banded that pretty quickly and um, yeah this whole lot here on top we're taking that besides the one we we're just pressing up so that's what I've done there uh, it's just a short video saying yes we're doing putting taking that with us um, this is what we've got so far out here oh, it's a big cleanup June's still got to do the wire um, we're going to do that in another day uh, but yeah this is what we got out here ready to rock and roll hell yes got to pick that up um, still got a bit, a bit of tying down to do that'll tie onto there should stay there there we go um, got all of our aerosol cans in here all in there we're going to take those I've still got a more, few more to cut um, some mower decks and that sort of thing all of our extruded, um, extruded aluminium is on the back, uh, painted and non-painted. All of our aluminium for normal stuff is on the, in that IBC pod. Uh, aluminium coils, cores I should say, out of um, say fridges, um, radiators, that's what they, they call them, an aluminium radiator. That's what they are. We're going to put them through and then we've got copper radiators back there as well in the next one. Um, also got a uh, stove on there too, uh, a bit of steel on there. So we've got all of our steel up here, um, cast alloy here, cast alloy there, yeah. So that's not too bad. wonder what this is going to take, you know, how much we'll get for that. But anyway, that's another video coming out. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what we're doing there. And um, yeah, we've got a whole heap of rims down here. So yeah, um, some fridge motors down there as well computer cases I did start on some computers and scrapping them out and that sort of thing so here's our um, clear clean extruded so painted it right there but anyway got a bit more to do there to load it up and um, yeah in our um, next run which will be another scrap run not long after that one I'm hoping it'll be the following day hoping um, we'll be taking all of our number two copper wire um, all insulated uh, number two copper wire that's been stripped and transformers that sort of thing there's a whole bin there uh, number one stripped strip they call that bright where we go to um, in other words what I mean by bright is uh, say a big piece like this once we put it through the stripper like yeah that's a bit wrong there but no matter be a bit of an insight camera down a little bit more for you all whoop that's too fast it's only operated by the old battery operated drill that's right now it's a bit tight loosen him off all right this is what you call bright it's all one. I put a little light LED light into that, so it made it better. So move that out of the road. All right, and then we just put that. Wee, we lost some. Better pick those little ones up, and then that just goes in the trash. Better pick those up. They're the good ones. You're not losing those in the dirt. But anyway, um, that's classes. Oh, there's another one. Um, that's classes bright. Then I'm. Yet to find out, get out of the road, Reiki, uh, what 
you know, this one is, it's got a silver coating on it. So if anyone can actually let me know before I actually take it, um, it does, it's come out of wash machines, you know, that sort of thing. It looks like this. So, yeah, I don't know whether it's got a, a silver coating on it or, or what. So if you can let me know before I take it, I might be wasting my time taking that. I thought I'd save it um, to see what it's going to be worth. But anyway, uh, here we've got, uh, well, I'm yet to find out. It, we've stripped this, but it looks to be been too hot and burnt and that sort of thing. So it's still number one in my my terms what i would class it as number one um because we've stripped it out it's not coated with a resin or anything like that um then we've got our cat wire here i think just bear with me yes it's cat wire uh i stripped the casing off why pay for why why put plastic through uh all phone cords um that i've picked up like mobile phone cords that you for your usb ordinary phone cords that sort of stuff um i know i get something for that then we've got our christmas lights down here so anyway um that's all i can tell you is at the moment what's actually happening so i'll show you the aluminium and uh yeah we'll get to and do a video of uh stripping some of this out and get it out there for you all this wire and uh yeah so if you've come this far in the video everyone don't forget to smash that like button uh, more people smash the like button, more people get to see these videos. So, and also, if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out, just like this one. So, on that note, everyone, I'm going to end it off there, and I hope you enjoyed today. Cheerio.